I don't, I don't, I don't know like why I sound so terrible. So, <laughs> so I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Well, if we can get you matching pitches and you're able to do a few simple things, we can certainly point you in the right direction. In one sense, it's it's much simpler than people think, but in another sense, it's like any skill. It, it can be hard to latch on to what a especially with singing one of the hardest things is figuring out what do I actually need to get better at to improve as a singer there are a lot of different things you could get better at to improve as a singer that's part of the problem um, and a lot of the stuff that I cover is is the bedrock is like what are the things that people who sound bad lack and people who sound good have regardless of style so I tend to try and help people latch onto that so they can just get an idea of what the basic skill set is and why they lack 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 with it um, there can be all sorts of difficulties that one singer has that another singer doesn't and it's just a case of where you're at and building from there um, most like 90 95 percent of my students uh, start from a much easier place than I did so uh, for most people my for most people my uh, you know I know that it's not impossible for them to, to get good at this, um, but the you know the, the 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 time that they have and the work they put in is going to dictate how much progress they make. Um, but it's uh, we'll try and pick one thing out. If we can get one thing in an hour that gives you a sense of ah, if I can get better at that, it will put me a step another step up the ladder. Then that's really all we need to do in an hour. Um, the question is, can we get that one thing? To, to, to happen yep. which uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't <laughs> they used me go mm -hmm. now as you go up there mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't want you to lose that bite at the top yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Try. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. So, if you do bro broad, long slides like that, it can help you to feel what am I actually holding on to as I go up higher to, to get the pitch to rise that's the thing you know you're saying about the dopiness or the this uh, ma, 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 this type of quality that's because I'm able to grab on those muscles consciously and I understand that to get up higher than that I've got to work them even harder I've got to grab on to those more there's a certain type of tension we have to find to get higher without reaching and right now the muscles, they, they can lengthen the cord some, but then they get to a point where they're just not sure what to do next. Mm -hmm. So as you go up higher, we have to start building some kind of sense of direction, like what needs to happen. There's various ways we can do this. The stuff we're doing is helping that. But I guess what I'm saying is broadly, in your mind, you're thinking, okay, like, what am I doing here? Like, what am I feeling? The difference between when I go, uh, and uh, 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 gentler so if I was talking to you it'd be here it's very gentle yeah right there where you kind of feel this this type of feeling we're gonna get you very comfortable there and 
um, it because when we compress not very much like that it's going to make it much easier for you to, to thin out higher without any sense of reaching out up so go back there let's do now it doesn't end here it's right here it's almost airy it's disconnected almost but we're trying to find a little bit of bite yeah now I kind of like where that's going it gets airy though so when it gets airy just make sure see if you can make that sound yeah go ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. this one's much better yeah try and do that in a scale Gentler, no nasality. quality more and more of that as we go up higher it feels like I'm yawning more at the top that's air it was actually pretty good at the top there on that the second one you did again this one see if you can get up there right to the top we don't squeeze uh, uh, no more of that we got to find a this vertical squeeze, this yawny feeling, this pressing in. Like, yeah. Ooh. yeah. pretty good it got a little loose at the top so I need you to do that but find a little bit of this bite make sure you find that this little thing go yeah you're finding a little bit of that gently The sound actually comes to a stop just like this. Go for me, go, go. E, e, e. E, e, e. You can feel contact. E, e, e. E, e. I look for that same contact up higher. Let's come down. Do it 
it here. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was the best one you've done. Yeah. Now it's a bit clumsy, but that that's how you're gonna start thinning out more higher into head voice. You try here. Is it I need to hold on to and what is it I need to let go of? Um, when we have that little bit of stoppage, it helps it helps us to keep the vocal cords together, which is what's going to guide the mind towards finding the right muscles. Yeah, to sing high, we have to find the right muscles and we have to be able to isolate them and keep everything else relaxed, basically. So it's tricky at first because the mind's not holding used to holding on to that, that muscle group very much so it's it's like it doesn't know what to do you found some nice closure there and some nice coordination yeah. so you get right up there you're looking for that the closure is perfect there yeah right there for you yeah that was some nice release right there good job okay if it's clumsy it's totally fine but you, you notice this there's a certain feeling of release and thinning out that you weren't feeling like five ten minutes ago it was pulling up there a lot more now the chords are together a lot more and you're latching onto it um, here 